As he watched, Mike Knoll conceived the idea of creating a ballet with a computer, and this was the picture in his mind. As a computer expert, he was well able to translate his ideas into a computer program. Of course, though, the really essential part of this is the computer program, which enables the individual to communicate his intentions to the computer. For instance, in the computer program to make the computer ballet, which I have here, the first part of it is concerned with setting up the instructions for drawing the stage on the automatic device that produces the pictures. The completed program is transferred onto magnetic tape, and the tape in turn transmits the program to an automatic device which produces the images. These are displayed on a cathode ray tube. Just as in conventional animation, the computer film is made up of single pictures, each very slightly different. Projected at normal speed, they'll give an impression of movement. Once he's checked that the pictures are all right, the tube can be put back into the apparatus, ready for filming to begin. Facing the tube is an ordinary film camera, which photographs the images one by one as they appear. Also built into the apparatus, a developing tank, so that the film can be processed immediately after it's been taken. So we present the first part of the world's first computer ballet. Already a number of artists are learning from computer experts to master the techniques which resulted in this film. Because they believe computers provide the most exciting possibilities at present available for experimenting with film. And now the results of these early experiments